What's up guys? I want to show you a couple of the small upgrades you can do to your BY's dump trailer to make it honestly a heck of a lot better. Okay, up here, you see this? This is actually a rack that extends all the way across, just a sheet of metal that comes, it's gusseted there and gusseted there. It's got holes drilled in it. The holes look like they're about, I don't know, fifth widths apart. Okay, I can have all my tools, all my stuff up there. Um, anyway, that's that's pretty clutch uh also you you mount a trimmer rack here and and up to the top of your rack at a slight angle it needs to be closer to, to there than it is up there so that when this box opens it doesn't hit your trimmers okay so do that mount that at an angle get you a uh, a four position trimmer rack that way you can show up with all with two head trimmers a weedier edger uh even make some of them a combi so you can switch them out and, and things like that uh, that's a huge upgrade. That's every, if I, I can literally drop this trailer off and have all the tools there for either myself or the guys to use. Another really sweet upgrade here is literally just two L pieces of steel. Literally they come out and you get these gorilla ladders and they, 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 they fold right in here just perfectly upside down. If you had the other way, they'd bang into your hydraulic hoses too much. The only thing I had to do is just tighten up these fittings about two times in about a year because they do kind of bump up bump, bump it a little bit but that's clutch right you know to have a nice ladders on the trailer and and uh not take up too much space now you can take little chunks of steel here see this and you can hang all of your shovels here so say you just pulling up your job you got to do a quick irrigation project or you just want to load up the debris uh in the side of your trailer i can have five six shovels there um so that's pretty clutch. Another thing you have to do, this is like clutch crazy, is go ahead and get these tires. They are Trans Eagle 235 80R16 tires. Make sure that's right for your, for your ultimate dump. I'm pretty sure they are. These are 14 ply. I have not had one flat tire, not one. And I haul this thing with so much weight that it won't even dump sometimes because the place I dump at, we have they have excavators and things like that. They can help you unload. I mean, I have not blown one tire. Before I did that, golly, I was blowing tires like crazy. Another thing to do is do not use their, 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 their fancy looking uh, lug nuts. Go ahead and get these lug nuts. These, you can actually see the threads of the rod, of the stud coming out, and you know if they're coming undone. I actually lost two tires whenever I first got this trailer because of that. Another thing for safety, go ahead and get you one of these. You know, first, first and foremost, that these tires, let's look. Look at the gouge right here, right? Look at the gouge. Look at the gouges on your tires from clipping curves and stuff like that. You do not want to be pumping up a 110 PSI tire and have it blow out on you. Go ahead and get you a Milwaukee, a DeWalt, something where you can hook, hook this up. This, you slip a battery in, you set the PSI you want, and walk away. If any problem happens, you're nowhere near it. Go ahead and get you one of those. Another thing is, do not even try and, and go through life with dump trailers and equipment without having one of these grease guns. I think they're 200 bucks. Dude, this thing is money. I can grease the trailer so well, so fast. Okay, guys, hope that was concise and quick. I want you guys to know how to upgrade your trailer to make it a lot more useful and not just a dump, but make it a, a rolling workshop. All right, guys, peace.